process versus spot. We're going to make a process color and a spot color. And we're going to see the difference between these two. Uh, let me explain it real quick without a visual aid. And then we're going to come back to it. To have a spot color means I can take four things of ink. Okay, They're four individual colors. And I'm going to mix them into another little container all together to make one color. This is a spot color. Process color is I take four inks and I print them on top of each other in various degrees. When they all get printed together, they make the one color. Okay, all right, let's kind of illustrate this. So process, we first need a color. Okay, so we're gonna concentrate on spot. Over here, I'm just going to double click and I'm gonna choose a color. And I'm going to choose a color that's made of all four colors. In other words, over here, I have cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Okay. I'll try to pick a color that's not so ugly. So maybe right here. Here's a green. All right. So that filled that with green. I don't know the percentage of it until I go over here to the swatches. So go window, color, swatches and it'll launch this palette. And I'm gonna hit this new swatch button. It'll tell me the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Okay, so we're gonna make this color. Over here, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna make a cyan of 56 and put it in this. To do this, I just double click here and type in 56 and put zeros in everything else. Zero, zero, zero. So that's what a cyan to 56 looks like. Here's magenta. So magenta is 26. Double click. Let's type in 26 for magenta and zero for everything else. Okay, next one. We're gonna go down here and type in yellow 88. Okay, over here. 88, 0. And last one is 6K, which is very, very light gray. 6 and 0. All right. Now, we're going to have to do something here in order for this to work. Ready? We're going to make four layers. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. We're going to put the blue one on the very top. We're going to put the pink one on the next layer. We're going to put the yellow one on the third layer. And we're going to put the black one on the fourth layer. So here I have cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. That doesn't really matter. It's just the fact that they have to be separated in order for this trick to work. All right, next. Let's go to Window and let's go to Effects. It'll launch a palette that looks a lot like this. Each square we're going to put on multiply, 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 and then multiply. And then we're going to use our imagination. The first color is going to print out. It's going to be blue or cyan. Okay. Then we're going to print the magenta on top of it. Then we're going to print yellow on top of that. And lastly, we're going to print black on top of that. Okay. So there's my process. I printed all those colors on top of each other in four passes and it made that color. Or I could take those four colors and mix them in a jar in the same cyan, magenta, yellow, black percentages and come up with that color. Voila! Process versus spot. Until you see it come off a press, you really don't know what it is. And until you mix a spot color by hand, you really don't know what it is. But hopefully this helps. This is the only way I can figure out to illustrate it
with new students that have never print offset and have never mixed a spot color. So enjoy. <laughs> 